good news for all. UCTV. 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 
good news for all. UCTV, 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 good news for all.
rector's speech. Then we shall have the speech from the chief guest. Then we shall have a, a dissolution of the graduation assembly by the chief guest still. From there we shall have a break of 20 minutes as we prepare for the, the mystic celebration. Now the graduation procession has begun. Those who are outside and are supposed to be inside. Those who are supposed to be inside, be inside. The graduation procession has begun. Our smart deacons, the staff members, our chief guest, right Reverend Aquinas Chivira, the ordinary bishop of Cassese Diocese, is with them. So, brothers and sisters, are very happy for this gift of these servants of God. We thank God for this gift. It is rare. And yet it is a fact that some, some people are thank the members of UCTV for covering up this function. Thank you very much. Yes, they have come. Let us all stand up and welcome them. We join together in that hymn, Marching United. We accompany them with a majestic clap. That is it. This is the class. These are the men. These are the men who started their formation journey way back in 2013. The date was 9th September 2013. Some of them went to a local room. Others went down way to Masaka in Katigondo and they are here. The Lord has led them this far. Indeed, they are grateful to the Lord. Yes, we ask Deacon Africa to occupy the first line. He is the first alphabetically. Deacon Africa and the last one is Deacon Zua let us all join in that majestic hymn
indeed we thank the Lord who has led us this far these are the great men we are commissioning today to go to the Lord's vineyard I will sing and praise the Lord all joy and thanksgiving to the Lord Yes, we have 53 members in number together with their brothers. They started their formation journey way back in 2013 as many of them went to a local room in the Guru. Others went down way to Katigondo and in 2017 they climbed the hill of Gaba the hill of Mother Mary. So you she has led them this far. Shout hallelujah. You will sing and praise the Lord. What the Lord has done for Gaba, we cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for Gaba. We cannot tell it all. Welcome our staff the members. Lord has done for Gaba. We cannot tell it all. He set me and watch us in his blood. So we will sing hallelujah. We will shout hallelujah. You will sing and praise. Let us welcome our chief guest. So we will with a mighty hand clap. Shout the ordinal of Cassese Diocese, Right Reverend Bishop Francis Aquirino Skivira. Our dear parents, you are most welcome. Us. We cannot tell it all what the Lord has done for us. Thank we you very much, Deacon Africa. What the Lord has done for us. We cannot tell it all. He sets us and watch us in his plan. So we will sing hallelujah. Yes, we are chanting hallelujah. Because we, we are having, we, will we are commissioning the hallelujah deacons. And praise the Lord. Thank you. We are going to straight away have the national and seminary anthems led by Deacon Joseph Kasekende. Then after that, we shall welcome our general spiritual director to lead us into the prayer, the opening prayer. Thank you. Oh, you God, may God uphold the will a future in thy hands united free for liberty together will always stand you will be done you will be done Done, O oh Lord, in this great house of formation, in unity, diversity, to pray and to study. God bless, Gaba Seminale. God bless the cradle of your servant. God bless the future of the church. God bless Gaba. God bless.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noon time. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. Lord God, how great is your name throughout the world. We thank you for this day. We request you to bless us and bless all the activities of the day. We make a prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May my God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. As we are still standing, I would like to humbly ask our guest of honor to constitute our graduation assembly. Constituting the 49th Graduation Assembly, Governor National Seminary, 23rd June 2022. By the powers entrusted to me by the Uganda Episcopal Conference, I hereby constitute this assembly for the 49th graduation for the award of Diploma of the Religious and Theological Studies of St. Mary's National Major Seminary, Gaba. Thank you very much. Our guest of honor, I humbly ask you to take your seats. Our dear guest of honor, Right Reverend Francis Aquirno Skivira, the ordinary of Cassese Diocese and chairman of the Commission of Priestly Formation, the rector of National Seminary Gaba, the formidable staff members of St. Mary's National Seminary Gaba, Our dear graduates, our dear parents, and all our invited guests, our dear seminarians of St. Mary's National Seminary, Gaba, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I take this singular honor to welcome you all to St. Mary's National Seminary, Gaba, for her 49th graduation ceremony at which 53 of her sons have undoubtedly completed their academic requirements. Congratulations, dear brothers. Please allow me to read to you the simple and nice program we are going to follow. We have had the graduation assembly, the opening prayer, and the national anthems, and the constitution of the graduation assembly by the chief guests. We shall have, we shall have the Dean of Studies speech, which will be followed by the award of the diplomas and prizes by the associate dean. The speech of the graduates 
representatives and they, they interlude an entertainment from the graduates themselves. That will be followed by the rector's speech at 10.40 a.m., who will in turn invite the guest, the, the guest of honor to also give us a speech, and after we shall have the dissolution of the graduation assembly. Without delay, I would like to invite the Dean of Studies to come and give us his speech. Thank you very much. Our chief guest, your lordship, Right Reverend Francis Aquinos Chibira, Bishop of Cassese Diocese, and the chairman of the Episcopal Commission for Priest Reformation, the rector, vice rector, general spiritual director, all members of teaching and support staff. graduating candidates, seminarians, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to heartily welcome you to this 49th graduation of St. Mary's National Major Seminary, Gaba. 32 of our students this is a correction of what was read before. 32 of our students are completing their seminary formation and are going to be awarded a diploma in theological and the pastoral studies of St. Mary's National Major Seminary, Gaba. We are grateful to God for allowing us to hold this graduation day, graduation today, in a relatively normal way, after the lifting of the COVID-19 stringent restrictions. The 48th graduation, which we had here on 10th December 2020, was in an abbreviated mode, on account of awful turn of events by reason of COVID-19. God has extended the favor and the kindness to us. It is marvelous in our eyes. Let us clap for God. We deeply thank your Lordship, Bishop Francis Aquinus Chibira, Chairman of the Episcopal Commission for Priest Formation, whose presence as chief guest has heightened the glamour of our ceremony. It is an immense pleasure for us to have you the in charge of national seminaries in Uganda in our midst. Most welcome. And thank you very much for honoring our invitation. The set of young men who are to be awarded a diploma in theological and pastoral studies today have at the same time completed a bachelor's degree course in the theology of Urbanian University, the results of which will come a few months later. So today it is diploma. So we believe these candidates to the priesthood have deepened their faith to the study of theology on top of philosophy so that they may authentically proclaim Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life to the faith communities 
they are going to serve. They have learned the skills and developed the disposition necessary to be ministers of the gospel in all things and at all times. We heartily congratulate them and thank them for their availability for the help of their formators. And may you please stand up so that these people may see you as we celebrate you, the candidates, the graduates. Profound gratitude is due to all the formators of these candidates at the various levels of their seminary formation. And in a special way, those who have journeyed with them here at St. Mary's National Major Seminary, Gaba. Uh, on this note, your Lordship, I wish to acknowledge before you the members of the formation team and the support staff of St. Mary's National Seminary Gaba for their praiseworthy service and in a special way the contribution they have made to the formation of today's graduates. These are Reverend Father Lazarus Ruinda from Kasana Ruel Diocese, our rector and lecturer in sacred scripture. Uh, this one is busy outside. Uh, Reverend Father Stephen Chandia from Arua Diocese, vice rector and lecturer in dogmatic theology. Reverend Father John Baptist Sonko from Rugazi Diocese, the General Spiritual Director, Director and Lecturer in Spiritual Theology. <laughs> Father Godfrey Toru from Jinja Diocese, Associate Dean of Studies and Lecturer in Pastoral Theology. <laughs> Reverend Father Vincent Sekabira from Masaka Diocese, Lecturer in Sacred Scripture and Biblical Hebrew. Reverend Father Charles Senyondo from Kasanar World Diocese, lecturer in dogmatic theology. <laughs> Father Simon Peter Chambade from Ginger Diocese, lecturer in liturgy. <laughs> Father Francis Xavier Okero from Soroti Diocese, lecturer in church history. Father Alex Kamanzi from Kasese Diocese, lecturer in Canoni Law and is the class teacher of the graduating year. <laughs> Father Chimbo Emmanuel from Kamparak Diocese, lecturer in Missiology and Christian Theology in Africa. <laughs> Father Stephen Bariamujura, from Mumbarak Diocese, a lecturer in moral theology. <laughs> Father Stephen Senkubuge from Masaka Diocese, a lecturer in liturgy. <laughs> Father Robert Amoni from Soroti Diocese, a lecturer in sacred scripture. <laughs> Father Charles Sekabira from Kamparach Diocese, Lecturer in Moral Theology and the Comparative Study of Religions. <laughs> Father Darius Magunda from Barach Diocese, a lecturer in Church History and Research Methodology. <laughs> Father Emmanuel Kasadja from Kamparach Diocese, Assistant General Spiritual Director. 
Father Charles Jude Juko from Basaka Diocese, Dean of Studies and Lecturer in Canony Law. And, uh, and uh, Father Joachim Mogaru from Rugazi Diocese. He comes is a lecturer at St. Imbag and he comes to assist here uh, in phenomenology of religion. It is a new discipline. Then, coming to the support staff, we have Reverend Brother Filichiano Ruemba, Ruemba, brother of St. Charles Ruanga, but Nakalori. That is our bath, Basa. <laughs> sister Topista Nabu Kenya, uh, little sisters of St. Francis, our Catrice. <laughs> she is busy. Sister Jacinta Ambite, little sisters of St. Francis, secretary. Sister Rachel Stella Drau, Secretary Sister of Moyo, the accountant. <laughs> Miss Florence Chirungi, Assistant Bassa. <laughs> Miss Pris Katraikayo, Dean's Secretary. <laughs> Miss Rita Nakato, Librarian. Miss Beatrice Bukenya, Assistant Librarian. <laughs> Miss Rita Helga Bavillier, Seminary Nurse. <laughs> Mr. Kamgisha Josephat, as well as Minister of General Duties. And uh, he represents the auxiliary staff, our brothers and sisters who work in the kitchen, in the laundry, on the compound, in the gardens, whose services we highly value. We thank them so much. <laughs> to all we are saying, thank you for the work well done, and may God bless you. And at this point, I want to acknowledge the presence of uh, the Vice Rector of St. Ibaga Major Seminary, Father Barnabas Muchibi. <laughs> he has come. He studies St. Ibaga, Dr. Father Wangato Ambrose. <laughs> and the General Director spiritual director of St. Ibag. You are most welcome, Father. <laughs> Dear graduates, on purpose, God has chosen your graduation to co-occur with the three other great events. These are, today is the solemnity of the nativity of St. John the Baptist. Two, it is this year that your alma mater St. Mary's Governor National Seminary is celebrating her golden jubilee of service to the church and the society with its climax on 12th November 2022. Three, the Catholic Church is experiencing the process of synod on synodality. This providential concurrence of events is significant and implicative. John the Baptist was the precursor or forerunner of the Lord. He carried out his ministry during troubled times when the people yearned for reassurance and comfort. So transcendent was the power emanating from the Holy Spirit that after hearing him, Many believed he was indeed the long-awaited Messiah. That John quickly put them right, saying, Come only to prepare the way, and that he was not worthy to lose the master's sandals. Thank God for the many blessings, particularly of sacred ministers, that we have received in the past 50 years. We are praying that our seminary 
may ever more produce pastors after his own heart. Dear graduates, you are being commissioned to be those pastors after God's own heart. The Synod on Synodality with its theme for a Synodal Church, communion, participation, and a mission is a global two-year consultative process of listening and a dialogue in the Catholic Church that began in October 2021. And we conclude in October 2023 with the 16th Ordinary Assembly, General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops. Synodality denotes the, uh, the particular style that qualifies the life and the mission of the church, expressing her nature as the people of God, which reveals and gives the circumstances to her being as communion, when, when all her members journey together, gather in an assembly, and take an active part in her evangelizing mission. Synodality ought to be expressed in the church's ordinary way of living and working. Modus vivendi et operandi. Dear graduates, you are being commissioned to promote the spirit of working together as a church with the Holy Spirit. The spirit of listening to one another, aware that the Holy Spirit can speak through anyone to help us walk forward together on our journey as the people of God. In a brief, be listening members of Christ's faithful and more so listening church ministers. Finally, there are many people who graduate seminary and they never want to look at a book again. You should always devote time to study, our dear sons. Of course, not every priest is called to earn an advanced degree beyond his seminary education, for it does not add a thing to your priesthood. However, like any professional, a priest should continue learning in order to grow in his knowledge and his ability to serve the church with a greater wisdom and a skill. In this regard, you would do well to give thought to the words of a distinguished Roman statesman, lawyer, philosopher, and scholar, Marcus Cicero. He says, a room without books is like a body without a soul. And uh, he continues, the task of the educated mind is simply put, read and lead. We wish you success in your new phase of life. Thank you, all of you, dear brothers and sisters, for listening, and may God bless you. We thank you, our beloved Dean of Studies, and today we are continuing to witness the fruits of your efforts. Now, on the program follows the award of the diploma, praise, diplomas and praises by the Associate Dean. We humbly request you, Father, to come for this activity. Thank you very much.
our guest of honor today, Father Rector and staff, our dear parents, invited guests, brothers and sisters in your various capacities. I welcome you to this graduation ceremony and to this important occasion of awarding certificates to our sons as a sign of their success, having accomplished their studies in the academic sphere. I will ask the MC to assist me in reading out the names and we shall ask your Lordship to hand over the certificates to the candidates. So we shall ask the Dean of Studies to read out the names of the candidates. So we have 52 candidates who are graduating today. And all these have passed well. Five of them have passed in the first class. And the rest in second class upper. It's no lower. So we congratulate you upon this success and uh, we are going to read their names as they come for the award. Africa Maxwell from Nebi Diocese. This is Africa Maxwell from Nebi Diocese. Aine Lawrence from Mbarara Archdiocese. Amanire Joseph from Fortipoto Diocese. Amumpei Crispus from Mbararak Diocese. Ankunda Julius from Kabar Diocese. Asime Joseph from Masaka Diocese. Bagonza from Hoima Diocese. Erugudo Abraham from Tororo Archdiocese. Kabenge Simon Peter from Kampar Archdiocese. Kakura James from Nebi Diocese. Kamukama Julius from Mbarara Archdiocese. Kanusu Franco from Jinja Diocese. Kaseke and Joseph from Masaka Diocese. Katose Buma Bendict from Masaka Diocese. B. 
Benedict. Kayanja Morris from Masaka Diocese. Yeah, you will get the, uh, the one that bears your name. Kibaba Godwin from Missy Diocese. Rosile Simon Peter from Cotido Diocese. Luboneza Francis from Kasana Ruero Diocese. Manzironi from Mbararach Diocese. Matovu Charles from Hoima Diocese. Mbabadi Rodens from Kampala Diocese. Mande Bryan from Kabali Diocese. Mugumia Edmund from Baralak Diocese. Mohere Zarewonidas from Bararat Archdiocese. Mohindo Nobat from Kasese Diocese. Mohes Julius from Mbarara Archdiocese. Mukundane Frank from Mbarara Diocese. Mungau Payas from Tororo Archdiocese. Mutabazi Mutegek Ronald from Fort Porto Diocese. Mumu Zapayas from Masaka Diocese. Muyombia Vincent from Chinda Mitiana Diocese. Niwaga Badeus from Kabari Diocese. Ochaka Chizito from Guru Archdiocese. Ochora David, Ochora David Walter from Guru Archdiocese. Odongo Ronald Peter from Lira Diocese. Okero Dennis Odiek from Lira Diocese. Oti Emmanuel from Cotido Diocese. Orib Dog Stephen from Nebi Diocese. Ruhuma Clovis from Fort Porto Diocese. Sewanyana John from Hoima Diocese. Senyangi Joseph from Masaka Diocese. Tindimueva Zaverio from Kabale Diocese. Tumusime Richard from Hoima Diocese. Mutororo Archdiocese. Wamalas Echaz from Kampala 
archdiocese. Wandiba James from Tororo Archdiocese. And Ziwa Joseph from Rugaz Diocese. Now, my Lord Bishop, we want to acknowledge those who have uh, performed better than the others. So now these are five, as I said. The first one, because they are all in first class, the first one is Deacon Kasek and Joseph <laughs> from Massacre Diocese. This one uh, got 82.8%. The second one is Deacon Kamukama Julia Caesar. They almost tied. This is about 82.4. The third one is Muvuni Viator. Eighty-one point two. Then the fourth one is Kayanja Morris. This one got eighty-one point zero. Eighty-one. And the fifth is Muhumuza Innocent. This one got 80.3. Thank you very much, my Lord. Allow me, my Lord, to stand in for the associate dean who is not feeling well and to say a few words. UCTV, good news for all. Your Lordship and Chief Guest of the Day, allow me on behalf of the Rector, the Dean of Studies and the entire staff and student body of National Seminary Gaba to present to you for recognition and award of gifts a number of students that have excelled in a number of areas and disciplines as follows. May I invite you, Your Lordship, to kindly hand over these gifts to our students. You've already given out awards to the five best students. I wish to reiterate the words of the Dean of Studies that all the 50 students have passed, five with first class and the rest with second upper class. That is really exceptional success. Let us give them an applause. I will begin with the second area, that is the area of spirituality. This year we regard Deacon Muhum Zapayas to have been our spiritual guru. <laughs> Deacon Muhum Zapayas, thank you for being a good example.
the next important area is the area of liturgy, which is the summit of all our activities here. And the student who excelled in the liturgical life is seminarian Okelo Dennis Odiek. Thirdly, we value sports here in the seminary for the well-being, physical well-being of our students. And the student who has excelled in the area of sports is Deacon Senyange Joseph. He's the sportsman of the year. Deacon Senyange Joseph, congratulations. And apart from the specific responsibilities entrusted to the students, here we value a voluntary spirit, one who is always willing and everywhere to render a hand. And the best in this area has been seminarian Amanyiri Joseph. Seminary and Amanira Joseph, thank you for always being there whenever there's a need. In the area of leadership, we have one who was outstanding and our former head prefect, Dikon Tindamuewa Zavirio. Next on the list is one who excelled in the area of community service to make sure that our place is clean and well kept. And this was none other than Deacon Kanusu Franco. And here in the seminary, we value the students being in the right place at the right time and doing the right thing. One of the areas we value is punctuality. The best timekeeper has been Deacon Noagabadeus. He has been the most punctual student in their class. And last but not least has been the area of liturgical music. And here we are grateful to our deacon Kaseki and Joseph, who has been the musician of the year. Deacon Joseph Kaseki and congratulations. They already mentioned our best students in the academic sphere and now would like to award gifts to them. We begin once again with Deacon Kasekende, we shall ask you to retreat. Deacon Kasekende, who was our best student in academics. In the second place, we had Deacon Kamkama Julius Caesar. So we awarded the two best students. Thank you very much for your lordship and for your kind attention.
We thank you, the representative of the academic dean and the, the associate dean with my lordship, my lord, right reverend, Akurinus Chivira, the ordinary of Cassius Diocese. These are the outstanding seminarians and deacons in the community. It is an encouragement that for us who are remaining here to also aim for the best. I thank you brothers if you pick that spirit. Now we are going to have the speech from the graduate representative. But for this speech allow me to recognize Honorable Simon Richard Oseku Member of Parliament, Chivale County, Palisa District. May you stand up for recognition. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. That's a good spirit as our civil leader. I also thank the spirit of Reverend Father Simon, the Secretary of Communication of Communication in the Uganda Episcopal Conference and your team. It's a very good spirit. I thank you, Father. The way you, you are devoting yourself, the way you are encouraging us there, it's a very good spirit. Philip, Philip O.D., I'm sorry. I got it, I got it wrongly. So, thank you, Father Philip, Philip and your team for that live communication to the through our several TVs and Go TV. So I invite the the graduates representative to come and give the speech. Thank you. going to speak are in the magazine, page 10. A guest of honor, my Lord Bishop Francis Aquinas Kambali Arali, the ordinary of Cassessa Diocese and chairman of the Episcopal Commission Seminaries and ongoing priestly formation. Our dear rector, Reverend Father Lazarus Rienda, and members of staff, National Seminary Gaba, the Vice Rector and staff, St. Imbaga's Seminary, graduates, government officials, parents, priests, religious, distinguished guests, dear seminarians, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of my fellow brothers, the graduates, I'm privileged at this time, I'm privileged and at, its, and at the same time humbled to stand this morning before you on such an auspicious day to say something. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm grateful to you, our, our esteemed guests present here on this 49th graduation and commissioning day, where 52 of us are graduating at the same time being commissioned to go and minister to God's people. Allow me express a gratitude to God for bringing us this far. I warmly welcome a guest of honor, Right Reverend, Francis Aquinas Kibira Kambala Arali, the ordinary of Cassessa Diocese and chairman of the Episcopal Commission for Seminaries and Ongoing Priestly Formation. Thank you for gracing this occasion. Your presence, even your busy schedule, shows the love you have for Gaba family and it's a big blessing 
to us this day. In a special way, I acknowledge the excellent work of the formators in this house of formation under the direct leadership of our rector, Reverend Father Lazarus Uyenda. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to you for your contribution towards our growth and success. Thank you for your commitment, dedication, and sacrifice in forming us to be future ministers of the church. Your work in this house of formation, coupled with your way of life, has been a constant reminder to us that priesthood is possible. This is why we have the well-prepared 32 sons of yours being commissioned today, ready and enthusiastic to go and do God's will. Thank you so much, fathers. May we give them a thunderous clap. We appreciate greatly the work of our formators who received us here on 1st September 2017 and journeyed with us for two full years before they went to serve in other places. They planted and you have watered and God the chief formator has made us grow. We commend the tremendous work of our beloved parent, Reverend Father Paul Masolo in absentia. <laughs> the former director, together with the formation team he worked with, we remember our most beloved Father Benedict Setuma Jr., who went before us to the Lord. In a moment of silence, let's remember to pray for him. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Dear graduates, I would like to remind you two statements from these men I have mentioned above. Father Rector, Paul Masolo used to tell us constantly, if you want to be a priest, love what is priestly. I re-echo it. And even when you become priests, please continue loving what is priestly. And Father Benedict Setuma, when we used to report from our holidays, he would remind us, my sons, you have come to the mountain of the Lord. Don't fear. I think we are going, we may be having fear within us, but I want to echo those words, don't fear. The Lord you are serving will take care of you. All the fears will go. It's up to you, run to him. A preacher of the, one of the deacons this week told us, when things are not going well, let's go before the Lord. And I think with that we shall be successful. I recognize the presence of our parents and graduates and guardians, our dear benefactors, relatives and friends. The love you have for us can never be appreciated enough. Thank you for coming, but above all, we appreciate, we appreciate you for your constant selfless care and support given to us in life and more so during our formation here at the seminary. The efforts of the support staff in our formation are highly cherished. Most notably, Sister Theopista Nab Kenya and her kitchen staff for the daily dedication in feeding us. <laughs> More still, the work of all members of the support staff is appreciated. Thank you so much, and may God bless you abundantly. To the graduates, Congratulations to dear brothers for being today's chief guests. 
this day is a landmark in our life. It launches a mighty and fundamental step that we are taking on our journey to serve the Lord. We have been guided for the four years to appreciate the priestly ministry as desired by Jesus and understood by the Roman Catholic Church. We have been equipped with the doctrine of the Catholic Church by our formators under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It's upon that conviction that each one of us can confidently say, See Lord, I come to do your will as our graduation theme states. As we go out, dear brothers, let's remember that Mother Church more than ever before needs ministers who are holy, obedient, convinced, committed, resolved Seriously do apostolate, intelligently well informed and completely abiding in God, so that they may be channels of God's love to his people. I'm convinced that we have got a good foundation to this end. And under the, the direction of Mary who constantly asks us to do whatever her son tells us. May we imitate her way of docility to God's will and constantly ask for her maternal care and intercession. Whenever we seem to wander away, may she always remind us that we are called to do the mission and will of Jesus, the Lord and Master, and not our own plans. I thank you for the work we have taken together as brothers, and let's continue journeying together contemporaries. The Dean of Studies has just asked us to continue learning by reading. It's on that accord that I would like to recommend to you a prayerful and reflective reading of these books to help you, to help us together in our ministry. One, the priest is not his own by Fulton Sheen. Priests for the Third Millennium by Cardinal Timothy. Dignity and Duties of the Priest by St. Alphonsus. And please, let us never betray ourselves, our families and parents, formators, and the name of Alma Mater National Seminary, Gaba, and Mother Church. Let's strive continuously to do the right things we have learned from here and not to do the exact opposite of what we have acquired here. To our brothers, the continuing students, we thank you for your brotherly company and for having proved to us that the path we are taking is worth it. Had you not followed us, probably many of us would have been discouraged. As you continue to discern your vocation to the priesthood, let this be a moment of inspiration for you to resolve within your hearts to follow Christ and prepare fervently to do his will as future ministers of the Lord. We have, we have been a source of light to you. Keep the candle burning. Where we have failed to show you the light, do not hesitate to ignite the candle and put things right. We thank the organizing committee and everyone of goodwill for preparing this day in such a colorful way. God bless you for that love. Once again, we are grateful to everyone present here for your contribution to our journey. We wish you all a safe journey to your various homes. And our guest of Anna, please convey our cordial greetings to our brothers and sisters, the Christians of Cassessa Diocese, when you reach there. Thank you for your attention. I remain Deacon Innocent Mhumuza, Fort Porto Catholic Diocese, Class Dean 2020 to 2022. Thank you, Deacon.
for the good words and encouraging your brothers as you go in the ministry. Now we are going to have the interlude kind of representation from the deacon class. We urge you brothers to come for this interlude very fast because of time. Okay, I'm seeing a sign that you can stand from there. It's okay. me, O oh, blessed thought, O oh, words with heavenly comfort fraught, whatever I do, wherever I be, still it is God's hand that leadeth me. sins of deepest gloom, sometimes where Eden's bowers bloom, by water still, O troubled sea, still tis his hand that leadeth me. Thank you very much, our dear elder brothers. Now, next on our program, director's speech. After which, you will humbly welcome speech. You are most welcome. Your Lordship, uh, Right Reverend Francis Aquinas, Kibina Arari Kambari, the Chairman of the Episcopal Commission for Seminaries and Priesthood Formation, and our guest of honor today, 
the vice rector father chandia the vice rector sentimbaga major seminary together with the staff members who might ask to stand up or the staff from sentimbaga could you stand up please thank you very much the parish priest and the other priest of Gaba Parish, our mother parish, I see Father Emmanuel around. <laughs> the Seminary Golden Jubilee Preparatory Committee members, I see some among the congregation. The honorable member of Parliament. Dear graduates, our dear parents, that have come today to join us, the seminary staff, the support staff, all of you are dear guests, I will warmly welcome you to this 49th graduation ceremony and commissioning day of St. Mary's Gaba National Seminary. Thank you for coming and thank you for honoring our invitation. Today we praise and give thanks to Almighty God for the success, successes and gifts we celebrate because of these 52 brothers of ours. The crowning of an academic and formation year is very significant and special in the life of our seminary. It's a moment of joy and satisfaction both for staff and students. After a turbulent period of the coronavirus pandemic, with all the inconveniences of the two lockdowns we went through, today we are pleased to finally hold a normal graduation ceremony. The 52 seminarians that have completed their four-year journey of theological studies and priesthood formation came here for the first time in September 2017 and by then they were 56 in number. Scripture says many are called but so from the 52, 56 today 52 are graduating and we congratulate them and thank the Lord for that abundance. I would like to thank our bishop, our chairman, who are honored and accepted our invitation to be with us today. Thank you, bishop, for putting aside your other programs. And I understand today we don't have yet any sub anything to substitute for fuel. You could substitute cassava for bread, but you can't substitute fuel, water for water. So you managed to come from Kasese and we thank you for that brevity and love for us. Our dear parents, dear formators, our dear friends and benefactors, I would like to wholeheartedly thank you for the journey you have made with our graduates, for the assistance you have accorded them, for the encouragement, for the financial support, for the good example you have given to these young men on their journey to priesthood. Dear friends, what you are today and what we celebrate as our achievement are the compound efforts of all the various agents of formation that have accompanied you. From your parents, from your villages, from your benefactors, from your friends, from your bishops, your parish priests, your friends in various circles, the workers at the seminary, your colleagues at the seminary, everybody has contributed something to what you are today and would like to appreciate all those efforts. I'm sincerely grateful to the formation team that I would like to ask to stand up, although you were mentioned at the beginning, Gaba formation team, would you stand up and face these men you have produced? Thank you for your guidance, for your knowledge, for your spiritual direction. 
that you have accorded to these young men. Your love, patience, guidance, they have meant a lot to them and they will continue to mean a lot in their ministry. Dear friends, I can imagine your joy and excitement today. As you say now, it's finally ended. I've been talking, some of you have been counting silently, others loudly. When is it ending? Two weeks, five weeks, one day. And some when they finish the written exam, so after all, it is ended. With the oral, we shall converse a bit, but I mean, it is, the, it is done. So yeah, it's finally done, and congratulations. Yes, you have all reasons to be happy and to be excited. We thank God for that. But I just like you to know, want you to know, that what you have been in Gaba, what you have become, and what you are going to be, is just the beginning. Gaba has ended as a place, as a phase of formation. But many other things are beginning and opening up in your life. And you wish that the good you have taken from Gaba and what you have become during these years of formation may accompany you as you open so many other phases in your life. May the Lord accompany you on the new journey you are embarking on. This end of Gaba marks a very big beginning. For many of you, you are already thinking of your future ministry. I hear some of you have already received your letters of ordination. So it is another excitement. Others, you have received the ones of pastor work. Others, you don't know what you will receive. So, so it is not a beginning, a beginning. We just wish you that you go and begin well. And what you become in Gaba accompanies you in that new beginning. With such a big company behind you, could you turn and look at your relatives? Yes, they are waving to you. So. <laughs> our dear parents, our dear friends, our dear benefactors, we welcome you and we thank you. You also mean a lot to these guys. You have moved with them, you love them. I pray that you continue to accompany them, that they may live well and practice their ministry, that they may, with you, with your support, with your guidance, they may fulfill whatever their priestly ministry will be requiring from them. Thank you for being with them and please continue to be of example and support as they go to serve the Lord. So with such a company of people supporting you, move to the next phase of your life with the courage, with the trust, with enthusiasm, and with the confidence that you are not alone. May Our Lady, Mother of Priests, continue to surround you with the heart tender care and the powerful intercession. I'm not giving you another Richter's talk. That has ended. That's why at this note, allow me to officially inform you and our guests that the Gaba National Seminary is living her golden days. We became 50 years of age in 2022. But as you know, due to the pandemic, we couldn't celebrate. So, we shall mark this event, dear friends and visitors that have come up today, to thank God on Saturday, 12th November this year. We call upon you to pray for us, pray for this seminary, support us, and even finally come on November 12th to celebrate with us as we thank God for his blessings and the abundant graces he has given us in the last 50 years of priestly formation. I'd like to wish everybody God's blessings and in a very special way, may he accompany you when time comes for you to go back home. Thank you very much. May the Lord continue to bless you and accompany you in your endeavors. My Lord Bishop, it's your turn. You are the guest of honor. It's not me. Could you please come up?
I'm not very good at protocol. And I don't like protocol so much. Because it deprives us sometimes of the dignity of each body with the part of Christ. Those who have lived with me know me. So all protocol observed. <laughs> they are the family of St. Mary's National Seminary, Gaba, headed by the rector, Father Lazaro Suruinda, who was also our vice rector of St. Paul's National Major Seminary, Kinyamasika, when I was there, teaching and formation staff, not teaching staff and support staff, the deacons, beloved seminarians, parents, guardians, and benefactors. I greet you and congratulate you all upon this year's 49th graduation ceremony. I thank God who has protected you. I thank God who has protected us all throughout the past years of COVID-19 pandemic. It has not been easy for some families one family in Kasese during this COVID, they had three sons. The eldest son was an engineer working and staying in Tanzania. He succumbed to COVID and died. The second son was also an engineer. He owned his own garage in Kasese town succumbed to COVID and died. This third son is alcoholic. His profession is drinking alcohol. So when this happened to the family, the mother also died. Eventually the father died. Who is left in the family now? So that's very, very sad. I know this family. Indeed, the going has been tough and challenging. Together with the rectors of the four national sem major seminaries plus St. Mbaga, Alokulum Katigondo, Kinyamasika, Gaba, and St. Mbaga, we had several meetings here at Gaba to plan how to reopen the seminaries in a reasonable, practical way during these years of COVID-19 pandemic. And I'd like to appreciate the rectors, Father Razalo Suriinda, pass on my thanks, my gratitude to all the rectors for having sacrificed during this time of COVID to plan the opening of our seminaries. And here we are today. It was during such a meetings of the rectors with me and the late Bishop Kagwa that the late Bishop Kagwa, John Baptist, passed on. May we pause for a moment and remember him and pray for his soul. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. 
eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May the souls of all the faithful departed, especially those who succumbed to COVID-19 pandemic in our families and in our country and in the whole world, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the teaching and formation staff. And non-teaching and support staff for braving the several lockdown periods and for engaging the required years and efforts to keep the formation programs running and to have been able to reach this successful day of graduation. Thanks. In a very particular way, I would like to appreciate Father Luinda's vision and strong efforts and commitment for the administration and management of seminary during this difficult period of COVID-19 pandemic and for going an extra mile to look for funds to put tangible developments at our seminary, especially the new roof of this administration block and construction of the storied dormitory. Thank you so much, Father. The seminaries belong to the bishop, but without the rectors and formation and teaching staff and non-teaching staff, the bishops cannot manage to form priests. Yesterday I was very happy when I reached in the evening, a, young, a girl came and knelt and greeted me very humbly. And I asked her, what do you do here? Are you a visa? He said, no. I'm the one who does cleaning and even does laundry. We need those humble servants of God. And you seminary and you deacons respect them. When I was living here as a deacon in 1984, I made sure as a deacon I went to say farewell to the sister who was looking after us in the refectory and looking after our food. The Banyoro Batora have a proverb at Alunyoko Takorora Handa. One who is not your mother doesn't care about your stomach. These are sisters, humble servants of God. They are our mothers. Let us clap for them and the team behind them. <laughs> to our dear parents, guardians, and benefactors, I say thank you. And may the good Lord bless and reward you abundantly for your generosity and solidarity towards the seminary and formation of our priestly candidates. To all seminarians, especially the finalists, Congratulations and thank you for opening your hearts and minds to Christ and the Holy Spirit so as to cooperate with all stakeholders of your priestly formation. Remember, Christ is the high priest and the chief formator. If you don't listen to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, you don't have time to listen to the Holy Spirit. You may go away empty-handed. And every Christian, every bishop desires to have priests who are full of life. Who are full of life. You know what I mean. They are finalists. Know that there is no end to priestly formation. There is no end to priestly formation. I'm talking from experience. Your real life formation and ongoing formation will soon start after your priestly ordination, which you must entrust to Jesus Christ, to the Holy Spirit, and the church for guidance and support.
at our graduation here in 1984, I went away with one or two things. And I went to the chapel and I prayed. I said, Lord Jesus, I have left this place of formation, Gaba. Help me to go out to learn how to live as a priest after ordination. Help me to learn how to pray as a priest. Help me how to learn to live as a priest. And help me to learn from all people. Help me to learn from children. Help me to learn from the leaders of the faithful. Help me to learn from all Christians. Go out to learn. And to learn, you may also have to unlearn the ideas that are filling your heads today. You may have to unlearn them if you want to learn. And learn one thing. The Catholic Church has everything that a priest needs in life. The Catholic Church is full of everything. The Catholic Church is full of everything. The Catholic Church has everything you need as a priest. That's my conviction. And that's how I've lived. And that's how I've lived. And remember, respect the lay faithful. I know many of you are, are worried about ah, survival in the ministry. How shall we survive? We have Christians. They are our survival in the ministry. There is no money I left to tell you, my dear younger brothers and my sons. There is no money which the church has which does not come from the lay faithful. The money the Pope uses and helps people with the money that bishops may have, the money that priests have, it all comes from the lay faithful. It all comes from that coin of the widow. And I always tell my priests, our duty is to administer very well that coin of the widow. It does wonders when you administer it properly. But when we go into the ministry with greed, we shall remain with greed from the beginning. We shall remain greed when we are middle-aged. We shall remain greed when we are going to the brave. Where is the point? Don't be greedy. We have our fathers. We have our mothers. They will give us everything that we need. The Catholic Church is rich because of our brothers and sisters. Because of the lay faithful who open their eyes to support the church financially. And as you carry out your public ministry, I exhort you to live and serve in communion with our mother Mary. Where Jesus is, mother Mary is also present. The blessed Virgin Mary is mother of Christ, mother of the church, mother of all priests. When I entered Gaba in 1980, I think 81, I question myself. We have come from Katigondo Seminary. Whose patron saint is St. Thomas Aquinas? A scholar academician. Who knew the best Latin, the Greek, and all that. Why did the bishops name this seminary St. Mary's National Seminary Gaba? I don't know how much Mary read, how she knew how to read. But what I know, she was humble. Full of humility and full of the Holy Spirit. And she kept Jesus. She kept the word of God. Don't leave Mary in the Gaba. Go with Mary. Don't leave Mary in the Gaba. The Dean of Study has talked 20, that, is it a Chichiron that 
an empty a room without books is a, a what without soul for me when i enter a priest's room i first look for the cross where is the cross <laughs> then i look for mary's statue i look for the bible when somebody enters your room as a priest what sign will there be in your room that you have been ordained a priest of Jesus Christ, whose, whose mother and our mother is Mary. Now, last year, 7 September 2021, the entire Catholic Church started centennial celebrations of the Legion of Mary since its foundation in Dublin, Ireland, on 7th September 1992. And coincidentally, this year, on 12th November 2022, our esteemed St. Mary's National Seminary Gaba will officially celebrate her golden jubilee and existence. Both celebrations remind us to thank God for the great things that the Lord has done for us. And may his name be holy. I exhort you all, I exhort all bishops in the whole world, the priests, seminarians, catechists, all families, lay faithful to come together in faith and love in the name of Jesus Christ that together we make the army of those devoted and stalwart colorants of Mary who are combating the forces of evil in the world today. So that at the end of our earthly journey, all of us may reassemble without the loss of anyone in the kingdom of God, the kingdom of love and glory in company with Mother Mary, our mother, the mother of Jesus, the mother of God, mother of the church, and beloved mother of our believers. I wish you all God's blessings, especially our finalists as you go out. And trust your vocation to Mother Mary. She will stay with you and she will lead you to one place. Mary leads all of us to one place. She leads us to her son and our Savior Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Let us now all stand that we may dissolve this graduation assembly. But before that, Salve Regina, Ater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Et spes nostra salve. Marte clamamos. Et zurie spirie fem. Arte suspiramus. Gemetes et flentes. In a Marum Vale Et Jesum Ben Mocata Nostra Silos Tuos Misericordes Oculos Ad Nos Convente Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende.
by the powers entrusted to me by the Ugandan Peace Super Conference, I declare this assembly for the 49th graduation of St. Mary's National Seminary Gaba dissolved. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you very much, our dear Bishop. Now we can go out to refresh ourselves for 20 minutes. And at exactly 11.40, we shall reassemble here for the Holy Sacrifice of Mass. Our dear parents, you there are seminarians outside there with the tags of the officials. Please ask them to direct you to the geography of the place. You can even feel free to ask any other seminarian. Thank you very much. May God bless you. The graduates, you are asked to reassemble outside here for a group, a group photo briefly. Thank you. The entire seminary community, you are asked to come along with your, your leaflets for the Golden Jubilee prayer during the sacrifice of Mass. Thank you very much. May God bless you. We kindly request Hello. UCTV Good News for All UCTV. Good news for all.